The idea for today's video came from Air Force Cadet Xavier Little, the unsung hero of the ACAP project who always makes me laugh every time he's in front of camera. <laughs> Never stop being you, bud. Is this one I should start swearing in Finnish too, though? Do you actually learn Finnish swear words? Oh my god. Go on, the mama. Satana. So we can actually do our run up check right here if there's somebody behind us. <laughs> Which is nice. So, nose gear straight, parking brake set, engine up to 2000 RPM. Mixture is full rich, fuel pump is on. For a second there, I thought there wasn't a cord to put the music on, and I got really sad. This 2000 RPM to, to the uh, left, 150 back to both, down to one, 100 back to both. Probably heat comes in fast. I didn't see the drop, so I'm going to do it again. There it is, all the way out. We stay running down to 500 RPM, which is good. You'll see some. Uh, tachometers that actually have the green line down to 500 to remind you of that. I kind of like that personally. So we'll lean for taxi again and fuel pump off because we have that again in the checklist before we take off. Get the GPS coming up. There it is. Like a little bit much my face here. Cool. Suction was at 5. Circuit breakers are all still in. The ammeter is reading positive. Uh, temperatures and pressures all stay in the green. 35 foot wingspan exactly. Wing area in square feet is 170. Flight instrument set, so 1,000 feet for here at Worcester. The minimum Let's turning radius. Check. Oh yeah, what's the minimum turning radius? I don't know that. 30 feet. Huh. Really, so it can turn around in less than its own wingspan. Gotta love it. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I mean, Boeing's do that too. If you see when they turn, the wing actually goes backwards. So you gotta be really careful about that when you have your friends moving your planes around because they might not realize that if they're turning hard, the opposite wing is actually gonna go backwards relative to the forward motion of the aircraft. Cool, so flip it over, we'll do takeoff checks when we get up there. We need the weather, which is 12655 at Worcester. GPS is still acquiring. Worcester Town Commission, Yankee, 1954 Zulu, wind 300 at 11, visibility 10, ceiling 8000 overcast, temperature 19, 2.9er, altimeter 3011. Expect the ILS or visual approach will be 29er. Runway 15 wheels out of service. Hazardous weather information available for New England. Further information available on high wall flight watcher flight service frequencies. Advise on initial contact. You have Yankee. Yankee, and the winds were, what, 300 at, at like 15 or something? Yeah, Worcester Tower Commission, Yankee, 1954 Zulu. Wind 300 at 11, visibility 10. Ceiling 8000 over Yankee, right? Yeah. Cool. So let's switch over to Worcester Ground, and we tell them that we're at the T hangers and we are. Uh, Ready to go. Staying at the pattern. Information, Yankee. Worcester Ground, Warrior 8027 Foxtrot is at the T-Hangers. Ready to taxi. We'll be staying at the pattern. We have the information, Yankee. November 80, AC in the call sign, please. 8027 Foxtrot. Number 8027 Foxtrot, runway 29 at Bravo. Taxi via Bravo, hold short of 29. Taxi 2 and hold short of 29 via Bravo for 8027 Foxtrot. Alrighty, so we've already done our run-up check, so we can just hold short of 29 er here and do our before takeoff checklist and swap over to tower frequency, which is 1205. Uh, before takeoff checklist, set that for now. Uh, fuel selector, we're going to stay in the right tank. Flaps are set for takeoff, which is one notch, and trim is set for takeoff. Doors. I'll get the one over your head. There you go. Latch down, definitely secure. 
strobe lights, landing lights, come on more on the runway. Fuel pump goes on again. Mixtures full rich. Carburetor heats off. Uh, we can turn off the air because we're we're going to be in the air in a second. We have our own air conditioning up in the air. It's nice. Cool. You guys ready to go? Ready to rumble. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Cool. Thank you, Lockerbie. Zulu Carnet Wister. Wister. Two minutes three zero one one. Well, then I gotta switch over and get Zulu now. One two six five five. Yeah, I left with visual approach on my two nighter. I doubt it's changed at all. Worcester Tower, information Zulu, 2054 Zulu, wind 300 at 10, uh, visibility 10, sky clear <laughs> below 12,000, temperature 18, 2.9, altimeter 3011. Expect the ILS with visual approach from 29. Said it was 330 oh, three, 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 at 10. One, one, yep. So 1205, we're ready to go. You guys ready to have some fun? Yeah. Um, yeah. One knot is one nautical mile and is 1.1516 statute miles per hour. Good, good to know. <laughs> I've always wanted to know that because we always say knots and I'm like, how is that in miles per hour? And now we know it is 1.15. Worcester Tower Warrior 8027 Foxtrot holding short 29 at Bravo, ready to go for closed traffic. Remember 8027 Foxtrot, Worcester Tower, new weather, wind 250 at 1-0, visibility 1-0, sky clear, temperature 18, 2.9, altimeter 3011, runway 29, clear for takeoff, make right traffic first time around, right traffic. Clear for takeoff, 29, we'll make right traffic, and I meant to say that we do have the Zulu. Cool. Good to go. The wind did, did, did go down though, because he said it was 2-5. Yeah, when they give you a weather update like that, I think that's reading like directly off of their wind instrument in the tower. Yeah. So that's like the most up-to-date wind. So they'll give that to you like when you're on final sometimes. And what's really nice is that they'll tell you no need to acknowledge because student pilots like to acknowledge everything. Yep. And when you're landing, sometimes that can be a hassle if you're trying to think, oh my God, what do I need to say? So when you're when you're acknowledging a tower, if they really need to hear from you again, they'll let you know. No. Full power. Landing lights and strobe lights are on. A little bit of right rudder. That's what I'm talking about. Goodbye, ground. Here's the wind. Another tendency I see all too often is people that race to get that plane off the ground. And you, you want to get a good climb rate going, you know, after takeoff to make sure you have enough altitude to be safe, but you don't need to lose the horizon underneath the nose. That's just dangerous because you can't see what's in front of you and, you know, Yep. Putting yourself at risk of stall any time you do that. Would you say 700? Uh, for like an abort height, yeah. Hey, whenever if you guys have heard me say this in the past, when I go like 700 clear abort, that's actually some lingo that I borrowed from glider pilots because they'll have a defined abort field if they have a failure of their um, uh, like their tow rope on the way up. Yep. Um, you know, you can pick an abort field too. There's no reason why not. I mean, right here, actually, off the end of uh, 1129 at Worcester, there's some really good fields for that. Yep. Um, so you can say, you know, here we're coming up on 700 feet above the ground, 700 feet AGL, clear abort. And then we can begin our turn on to crosswind. Um, I was I was uh, referring to the climb rate. That was yeah, 700 feet per minute. Yep. Um, you're not too worried about the actual V speed you're, or um, vertical speed. You're more worried about the... Uh, Sorry, I just need to make sure I keep on my heading for crosswind here. Um, you're more worried about the, the speed you're holding. So if you hold like your actual VY or VX, then whatever your vertical speed is, you're guaranteed that it's the best it can be. That's 1,000 feet AGL, so bring the power back. And as soon as we're in downwind, I'll drop the flaps. And watch it come up parallel right there. And we're looking for 90 knots in the pattern. I can pitch down a little bit the flaps. Well, isn't that just gorgeous? Look at all the trees. I know, they're so pretty and colorful. Look at this. It's uh, autumn time in New England, folks. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a new, uh, like a new look. Yeah, new scenery. Kind of new, you know, when we usually come up, it's really, really pretty. Like, Worcester looks so different. And then you'll see if the tower didn't tell me where to report. So if I don't hear from them by the time we're at beam 2-9, I'll just let them know. My favorite, though, is always being able to see to the bottom of the ponds. Worcester Tower Warrior, 27 Foxtrot, the beam, the number is 29. 
Speed 27 Foxtrot was down runway 29, that clear touch and go. Actually cleared for the option. It wins at 300 at 1 1. Wheel stroll 2 minute 3011. Cleared for the option, 2 9 and will that be a right or left traffic on the way back around? 27 Foxtrot, initially flight runway heading, I'll keep you advised. And we've had reports of bird activity south of the airport, although at this time I'm not observing anything. All right, I'll fly runway heading, and you can let me know. Thanks for keeping us safe, 27 Foxtrot. All right, so bring the power down. We can do our before landing checklist now. Mixture, master, mags, fuel pumps on, do a car P check, no significant drop, so you can take it back out. And that's base turn right there, and we are, just for fun, 1.7 away from the middle of the field. So if it's a two-mile runway, that means we're about... <laughs> Rules of not doing math on final here. <laughs> um, that means we're point seven, seven away from the threshold. Cool. <laughs> it's like the easiest math I could have done. Yeah, I know. I, I, <laughs> I, I blanked too, don't worry. So keeping those vazies white and trimming it out. We're inside the white arc. Power's all the way out. Inside the white arc, one notch of flaps. Pitching down a little bit. You see me push down the yoke like that when I had the flaps, because the flaps tend to pop your nose up a bit. Yep. And two notches of flaps to keep us on that uh, glide slope. Uh, winds are nice and calm. I love this time of night. And three notches of flaps. There's always a bunch of sink right here at Worcester right before the runway. And three notches of flaps once you have it made. Keep it coming down. Oh, there's that sink right there. See? You feel that? Runway 29 reports bags, winds 300 11. 29 reports bags, inbound 792. Did he, did he give us the right or the left? He said fly runway heading and he will let us know. Long shot plan on left traffic, but for now, continue upwind an extra mile or two before you make your left turn for the left traffic, please, for sequencing. I will continue my upwind for a little bit and then left traffic for 27 Foxtrot. 